Any last words? Well, I hope they're not my last words. <laughs> Living off the grid in the Canadian rainforest during winter can get gray, wet, and dark. Lately, Nicole and I have been craving rich comfort foods and using our array of high-quality Japanese kamikoto knives to prepare our favorite soul-comforting foods at home. It's so important to us to prepare and cook our own food, and our kamikoto knives are our most important tool in our kitchen. With Nicole being six months pregnant, we can make sure to use our knives to prepare delicious and nutrient-dense meals every day. With the Kanpeki knife set, Chuka Bochu Cleaver, and Kuro series knife set, we now have a knife for every occasion and every food in our kitchen. Our Kuro series knife set includes a seven inch Santoku knife, six and a half inch Nakiri knife, and a five inch utility knife. We keep that razor's edge on all our knives using the Kemikoto Toishi Whetstone, which has a 1000 and 3000 grit side for getting that traditional and high quality edge on your knives. Each Kemikoto knife is made with Japanese Honshu steel. Each knife is individually inspected, has a lifetime guarantee, and goes through a 19-step process and is used by Michelin-starred chefs all over the world. The Ashwood box the knives come in makes a great gift, and you can use code JN when checking out to receive an extra $50 discount. Click the link below the video to receive or give us a gift the same knives and whetstone that we're using.
Okay, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> So fancy. I don't know if fries and mustard and pomegranate go together, but. No, but it's okay. I can't remember the last time we had like french fries. Mmm. Those were really good. Can you tell which ones are potato, which ones are a sweet potato? Yeah, that one was a regular potato. Well, I can tell by the cuts too, but. Mmm, that one was crispy. Those ones are sweet potato. Oh, really good. Mm, do I have to share these? Nope, it's all for you. Is this like a chutney? Like an orange chutney. You're making this every day now. <laughs> really, really good. In the comments below, people always ask us if while living remote and off-grid, we have felt the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent national border closures, social unrest surrounding mandates and vaccines, inflation, and loss of public trust of what constitutes truth and facts. The answer is yes, we have. The last two years have greatly isolated Jake and I, as our remote and wild property has made visits from friends and family virtually impossible. Recently, we were able to successfully plan a week-long visit by my childhood friend Summer from Oregon. Best friends since three years old, this was Summer's first trip to Canada, and we later found out her first time leaving the US. I was so excited to see my best friend again. Here's what happened. Okay, you're about ready to go on the boat. Any last words? Well, I hope they're not my last words. <laughs> Going into the unknown. Yes. Are you see prepared? How old it is. I'm prepared. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Nice job. Is this some uh, like winter chanterelles? 
it's called yellow foot. Yellow foot. Okay. I was gonna use my hat. So just cut them off like at the base. Hey, go, go, go. And then uh, oh. we'll eat those for dinner. Gravy. Gravy or um, pizza? pizza? Yeah, we can make pizza in the pizza oven. These are nice sized ones. Do you get all of them, even the small ones? Sure. There's, they're so abundant that. <laughs> Doesn't this log look like an old grandpa or grandma? <laughs> I really can't tell if we're balancing or not. Yeah. Oh, to our point. Oh. 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 I don't know why you do it. That literally just feels nice. It really does. Crazy how. What are you guys doing? Summer is going to do the cold dip. Since I can't do it because I'm pregnant, she's going to do it. So she's doing it for me. So this is the first time ever doing it. So. And like the temp outside is about zero, which is like 32 degrees. <sighs> your breath. It's pretty cold, but yeah. let's do it. Okay. Summer, are you sure? I am positive. You're a good half a day's journey from any help. <laughs> Something happens. We just worked out, so she's feeling pumped. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm... 
warm or nice and hot, so I think it's I think it's gonna feel great. <laughs> Doable. <laughs> Deep breath, focus of the mind. Nicole is so entertained right now. She <laughs> crushing it. Let's breathe. Wow, it's not that bad. Once you like fully get in, it's kind of a rush. It's very cold. <laughs> At least the sun's out though. It makes her next to get out. <laughs> Closer. Closer to the marshmallow? Yeah, hold on there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I don't want to burn them. Okay, what do I do first? Just slide and it then. in. There you go. <laughs> Also get some stuff too. Okay, See how it kind of helps get it going. I would stay low, low in that spot right there. Yeah. Oh, get it? <laughs> so a little bit more like. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> get it. Breath of fire. There you go. Fifty one. Fifty one? Yeah. That's pretty cold. That's pretty <laughs> and we're and gonna then it's already cold out here. Yeah. On so our goal is to get it to like a hundred. I can't go into a tub past a hundred, but we'll do like ninety five and then yeah, then you can hang out in here. Powering Grace. Grab it. Give it away. Yeah. Grab it. Powering <laughs> Grace. That's our workout this morning. It's a weird name. We're gonna chop some wood. <laughs> Oregon girls. <laughs> wow. How tall are uh, how tall are both of you? I am five two and a half on a good day. <laughs> on a good day? <laughs> Someone chasing you down. There'll be an axe nearby. <laughs> And you'll conjure up this moment, and it'll save you. I'm like, kind of take me back to the North Canadian rainforest. Yeah. Why would you even want to throw your weapon away? You you don't. You want to fight with it, you know. Okay. So you're going to throw it because you don't want to accidentally get hit by their weapon. So, really, I want to just throw it from right here, okay. and that way you can then end it. So really, the throw is just going to be from like, from like there, and that's all you got to do. Can you do that? Can. Just to build your confidence. Closer. There you go. Let's see you. There you go. <laughs> it's too close. <laughs> there you go. Do it. Do it again. Do it again. Now go back a little bit. 
And now don't flip it, let it kind of like release. There you go. There you go. Like right in the face and right there. And you don't want to get this close. You can actually just hit him from there and then. <laughs> Run. I'm going to be like, please. <laughs> <laughs> I almost missed that. I think about one rotation is about here. Okay. But the rotation will change with how aggressive you throw it. So, like, if I just nice and relaxed, just like right from there. Oh. <clears throat> just one move. Ooh. Just see what happens. Like a nice okay. overhead throw. <laughs> That's what I was aiming. Left, yeah, left before baseball throw. Right over the top. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then I'll hit the head. <clears throat> oh, oh, I lost an ear. I can't. <laughs> that was his. Well, that was my bad ear. So. There you go. We're, cool. we're done. We can go home. <laughs> yeah, nice. Here, let me try. Knock that shit over, dang. Yeah, see? <laughs> see, that, that was aggressive, so it spins more. That's good. Ooh. Damn. Almost in a row. Just kind of like, for safety, you can kind of just okay. toss it in there. <clears throat> nice. Okay. This close? Sure. I've never seen somebody like <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, finger straight so that just kind of slides out into there. <clears throat> nice. nice. I'm like. <laughs> yeah, that's how you gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I. Okay. Look oh. at that. <laughs> See, yeah, so like like you're cutting somebody's ear and just let it fly, like. Like let it flow. Ooh, oh, that could have been in. Release! Yeah! Mm. <laughs> I think that second one I just kind of didn't think about it and I just, just threw it. Yeah. it. Yeah. Look at that. So close. Okay, I'm that gonna do that again. Three in a row. I can do three in a row, I feel it. I know yeah. I can do this. It's not, I totally can. She wanted it, but look at how she the, it so bad. The, let the rotation happen on its own. <laughs> Feel the rotation. Just straight the whole way. <laughs> That's just so scary. Oh and it's really? amazing. Like, pull this out. You can see. Pull that out of there. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> that penetrates so oh, wow. much. So I did it. So now like do your hair up <laughs> oh. and you can keep repping on you all the, all the time. So now from now on you're loaded at all times, ready to go. I don't, I don't choose the knives, I choose the chopsticks. You have totally. hair of weapons, your friend carries three daggers at all times. <laughs> Watch out for these oh. Whoa! <laughs> that, was cool. that was good. I'm in summer with the knives. <laughs> come on, come on, Abby, give me the power. Whoa. <laughs> the spirit of Komorebi the gave you the power. The spirit of Komorebi, thank you. <laughs> All right, dagger girl, nice job. <laughs> Thanks. Ready? It's not gonna be cold this time. <laughs> oh, thankfully. <laughs> oh my God, it's so warm. Oh. This feels so much better. It was really hot, so I think I'll just put my Yeah. yeah. This feels really good, though. I'll get in. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel warmer now that your legs are in. Yeah, it feels really good. I honestly just want to dip it all the way. <laughs> it would be better if I got my mind. <laughs> I'm going to go get this. Have you ever been in a wood 
fired jacuzzi tub. I can't say that I have. It's so hot right here. Yeah. From the fire. Yeah. It's like really that's hot. That's when the heat comes out, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, you sit here and enjoy. Yay. Looks good. <laughs> uh, take your glove off. Your off. All right, so these are Vancouver Island spotted prawn. Just uh, go in there and like grab them by the head because the tail is slimy, but the head is tacky. Just pinch them and hold them. There you go. Got to do it. I'm pretty tough, but hold it right there. Hold it right. Just pinch it right there. Do it. And just own it, kind of like secure, and then just hold, hold on. It. Okay. Okay. I show the camera. Spotted prawn. <laughs> there you go. Interesting. Can I put it back in? Yep. Good job. <laughs> so there we go, we got about a hundred to go on the pizza. Awesome. You helping the pregnant Nicole stay uh, stable there? That's she is. She's actually doing a really good job. Even on the boat, she's like holding on to my jacket. She's like, I don't want you to fall. It's slick out here. You didn't know how, like, how many years, but we've known each other since she was three and I was four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but our parents went to high school together. So so they didn't see each other for a while and then they met up in our hometown. And yeah, friends yeah. Friends. They always hung out. We always had barbecues going up. And our older brothers were friends. Yeah. So. Oh, don't give away my secrets. <laughs> I can't release all my knowledge. But. <laughs> How's it been coming to Canada for the first time in this remote part? It's been awesome. Um, it's been pretty chilly. Yeah. Um, this feels so clean. The air is just so crisp. And my eyes are like chronically red. And being up here, the whites of my eyes have not been red. They've been white. <laughs> So that's been really nice. They don't burn. The air is just clean. It feels good up here. Taking a shower with our 100% rainwater. You call oh, it yeah. So fresh. And <laughs> yeah, the shower was awesome. I I put off the shower because I thought it was going to be cold. And it's super cute for one, like the logs. It's just cold to me in there. It's like a little cabin. But it's like you're inside, but you're yeah, outside. Yeah, I, when, I when I was getting undressed, I was like, oh my God, I feel so free out yeah. here. <laughs> I grew up in Pendleton and now I live in Central Oregon. So I moved a little east to, to Central, but still an Oregon girl. This is uh, called a Monk's Blend. It has like um, vanilla and then black 
15. Oh, okay. That's not really there. Anyway, my memory is going to talk about, do you remember um, when I would come over and we would take blankets and we'd pretend they were our magic carpets and we'd try to put as much stuff on our magic carpet as possible. <laughs> we'd like decorate the carpet, our like blankets or whatever and those would be our magic carpets. That was carpets. like a memory like way back that I kind of forgot about. Yeah, and then you had that... um that aerial snow globe thing yes, that like that lit from, up yep <laughs> i got that from disney on ice so i like, love that <laughs> <laughs> um probably one of my favorite memories would be giving you your sixth birthday present <laughs> my bunny pillow yeah. i think it's seen better days <laughs> is i think the that head, head is, is yes the head off of it or is it still <laughs> no on? it's off I think we the head has been detached like maybe five times and then we back on detached. Like, you still have it? Yeah, I still have it. <laughs> of course I still have it. <laughs> I just remember seeing it in the store and I was like, that's the gift I'm getting Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's her, that's her present. The thing's gotten me, that pillow has gotten me through some tough nights. Like, it's been my... It's a pretty pillow. big pillow, too. Like, yeah. It's like a regular size pillow with a bunny head. Yeah. <laughs> and when you like really look at it, it kind of looks really funny. Like, it's like, it's, kind of a weird it's probably so raggedy now. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever talk about like uh, what you would do for a living when you were younger? Yeah, we would. I mean, we. I wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. It's really bad. I wanted to be a teacher, and I would set the cl like my bedroom up as a classroom. Or remember when we did the hospital? <laughs> that just popped in my head. We did surgery on my sister with like yogurt. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't actually remember that. Oh. I remember when we would babysit my younger siblings and we would play like we were sick and they were the doctors so they'd have to get us all the stuff like oh yeah oh, like oh we really, we need soup and they would go get food. it yeah and we just sit on the couch and get catered to. Do you remember when we had those old um like uh like uh if you're at a restaurant they take your order like yeah. on like a receipt paper and we like made breakfast for our parents and like charged them and they actually like, paid us yeah they paid us tip. and we we made the food we wait you know brought it out to them yeah. That was fun. And then what do you do now? Like, what's your... Um, I am a dental hygienist now in Central Oregon. Uh, that wasn't necessarily what I always wanted to do. But yeah, what did you... It changed a lot. Remember. I mean, I, I don't know. It really changed. But uh, dental now is my passion. I love it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, Bring water. Yeah. 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 Nice work. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now carry it over there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. I thought I could. It's, it's it's super slippery. And it's heavy. If you Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jake do that one. I can edit that out. <laughs> I don't know. I just it happens every time. I mean here's a tree. How big is it should be the bitter? It just has to fit on the string so it's gonna get bigger as well. Are we? Okay. Yeah. We've got a brick and cob oven in the fire. So we got cornmeal on them so you can scoop them off. And then uh, just go like this. Put it off of there. Okay. Without the cornmeal when you come off. And then uh, right. this pizza oven is at a thousand degrees right now. So you gotta be kind of like. Makes my home oven look like a wookie. For sure. <laughs> uh, vigorous and aggressive. And kind of like you kind of hold it and you kind of tilt it back toward you so it's kind of really. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. You said vigorous and aggressive. And you kind of angle it back. Yep. Go for it. Yep. Angle it. Yep. Get it on there. Good job. And now, and then like kind of flip, fling it off of there and that opens up. Have some control. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Smells legit. Second one.
Hey, walking somewhere out of here to uh, hit the ocean and it's the time of the done. I'm so sad. I know. What are you going to miss the most? Uh, probably being out in the fresh air. Not Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, this no was a given. <laughs> this, was, this goes without saying. But no, probably the fresh air. I mean, it's amazing out here. It feels awesome. So, well, thanks for visiting us. Going to miss you. No, I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon.
water room for me on this rock. Let's go. How's your pregnancy going? So you had something exciting happen yesterday for the first time that you've been reading about but didn't experience till yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I felt the baby have hiccups for the first time. I'm, I think. It, I mean, my ins my instinct was like, okay, those are hiccups for sure. I felt it and with my hand. It, it felt was. like hiccups, yeah. It was rhythmic, consistent hiccups for yeah. minutes. I don't know if the baby's done the hiccups before, but that was my first time feeling it. Um, it was super late at night and I was awake, so I don't know. It was really nice. <laughs> but I never heard of fetal um, prenatal hiccups before. Yeah. Um, what does that mean? And I'm sure people out there never heard of that. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's just the baby practicing to breathe because obviously they can't breathe in the womb because there's ambiotic fluid around them. So they're just warming up and practicing their lungs. So it's just their huh. lung, they're sucking in the ambiotic fluid. And so their, their lung flap is just practicing. So when they come out into the real world, they'll kind of know what they're doing. It's got some conditioning. Yeah. And I looked it up and it's pretty common for month six, seven of pregnancy, yeah. which is where you're at. Yeah, 27 weeks. So I was waiting for him. So I was really excited to be like, oh, finally, hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> Are we having a boy or a girl? I don't know. I haven't had any more dreams about it being a girl. I've had dreams about me having a baby, mm. but uh, no, I don't know. I'm like, I keep telling people, I'm just, I'll be really happy with obviously whatever, <laughs> as long as they're healthy, as long as the pregnancy goes well and mm -hmm. you know, everything goes great, then then I'm happy, so. People have been watching us now for a few years and uh, they've watched us live in a yurt. Yeah. Are we delivering this baby in a yurt? No. In the forest? No? No. Do you have a plan? We have a plan. It's a pretty awesome plan, I think. Okay. So we're going to uh, do what? Should the audience know right now? Or should we just show them as your pregnancy develops? I think we should just show them. I don't think we should show them everything. I think we need to have some personal private things to ourselves. But... Oh, yeah. But... Well, at least take you guys on this journey. This video blog is stressful for me because I have to kind of figure out, you know, like how much of our life do we want to show you guys watching? And Nicole's getting more and more pregnant every day that goes along. So it's usually easy for me to think of content for you guys because there's all these amazing bushcraft off-grid amenities and projects I've always wanted to do. Pizza oven, salmon smoker, uh, owning my own shelter and building it, solar panels, gardening, fruit trees, foraging. And we've done these things and normally if we weren't pregnant I would just be upping the quality of these things, tightening them up. Um, but now I don't really know what I want to film for you guys because I kind of just want to shut the camera off and be a good dad and be with you and just start our family together with the camera off. So every time that we turn the camera on again and do these talks or put together these videos, I feel like um, it could be the last one for me. Hey, you're falling off the rock. Switch places. Oh my gosh, this is really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have about 3,000 videos I've made for YouTube and I'm done making these videos. <laughs> And every time that Nicole and I put one of these video journal entries together for you guys to watch, I feel like it could be the last one. This last week had my birthday, and for my birthday I decided to give up all my social media and- Except for YouTube. Except for YouTube. I did away with Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Messenger. I logged myself out of them, changed the password, forgot the passwords, and then deleted them off my phone. And uh, I'm just gonna do YouTube because YouTube is more of video production for me, long form, hour long. And I'm at the point now where I'm kind of like just wanting to be in a family with you. And it's a lot of extra work to work hard and then film it and edit it and put it out there. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is our last video today. What do you think? You're in this 50-50. Well, I mean, I have more to share. You have more to share with them? I do, yeah. Do you like looking back at these videos and seeing us age the last four years? Yeah, it's cool. It's like a time capsule. Like you said, it's it's interesting. It's fun. We've put out together as a couple like 300 episodes. Yeah, and our kid gets to look back mm. on these videos too, which is, you know, they're kind of like 
home videos but edited you know like when you go back and yeah. look at home videos like sharp dad shaking the camera and mom's zooming in too much and zooming out and moving and like someone's talking like these are home videos edited really nicely so it's like uh, like a movie a professional home video movie i don't know yeah <laughs> so it's nice that our kid gets to and no matter no matter what you and i do in life you know our kid privately at night when nobody's watching can go back and look at what was it like with mom and dad when they were pregnant with me yeah. i can't do that with my parents i know it'd be so cool I, to look I back can't. on videos of my parents you know and trying to make it like how cool would that be how many of you would love to pick out you know a weekly professional video of your parents pregnant with you or just even before like what they do before i was there or yeah. like that would just be really cool like oh my parents traveled like oh i can see some clips from that it's really unique and, and awesome and what if these videos stay the course for a few decades and then the kid gets to be the age that we were in the videos and they can kind of pace themselves against us that's kind of neat i feel that every time we put one of these together it's like can't believe did it again so i hope that you guys the audience appreciate these videos going out because we aren't beholden to anyone we're not under contract to keep producing these it literally is a sprint every week for us to put these out and um, I would really be humbled and comfortable if this was the last one and just fade into the darkness let my footprints on the beach wash away with the tide. Yeah. Do you and I know what we're doing for the last trimester of this pregnancy? Yeah. And we're not going to tell anybody, we're going to just show them. We're just going to show you. We've had this stuff planned before having a baby. It was in the works and then we just kind of integrated having the baby i don't know if that makes any sense because you guys don't know but it's pretty epic a couple of really awesome cool surprises coming um that we've been working on honestly it's been a passion of ours to have this path um so it's it's really exciting we're just kind of having a baby in between all of these new projects and i feel that you and i as a couple have done a lot in our four years but that we really have a lot more to do once this baby's in our life too. Yeah. Okay. It's getting cold, so we gotta go. Okay. Well, let us know what you guys think about watching us each week down in the comments. And um, the next two episodes, the next two episodes, I mean, it's gonna be life-changing for us, life-changing for what you're gonna see, and I hope you guys are ready. They have to be ready. It looks like that. It looks like what? That big boat is going to run under a small boat. It does. Let's go.